February 12th, our officers were sent to an innocuous call. Somebody passed out in a taxi cab at 4.45 in the morning. Upon arriving, they wake up the individual, they identify the individual to find out that they were on a release order from January 12th of 2023. They were to be in the residence at all times with their surety and were blatantly violating it. Upon arrest, they were searched uh, subsequent to the arrest and a loaded firearm was located in the pocket of this individual. It was fully loaded with extra ammunition uh, readily available. The person was held for bail and the latest update I have is that he has since been released. What really sh sent chills up my spine is that this location is literally 35 kilometers from where Greg Pacella was killed. 20 minute drive, 10 minute drive lights and sirens if we were lucky. And it's disgusting that this event happened 47 days after his death. Commissioner Creek has said Greg's death was preventable. And here, 47 days later, my officers are responding to the call at 4.45 in the morning in a city that is a commuter town to the GTA. There's a lot of people up in mobile at that time of day. And here is somebody who the justice system has allowed to be out on bail, carrying a firearm, fully loaded. And let's not lose sight of the fact of their lengthy criminal history that included numerous firearms offense, offenses, violence, and a lifetime prohibition. The similarities of this individual are eerily similar to the circumstances of Mackenzie and Constable Pacella. The system's broken. People like this are getting out on the street, being released, being held for bail. The police are doing our job. And then when we have them put before the courts for bail to be held in custody, they're being repeatedly released. The people see this, the citizens see this, the taxpayers of this country see this, and they're losing faith in the system. I hear from, it, from citizens all of the time that they are losing faith in the justice system, and my biggest fear is that this may eventually lead to uh, vigilantism. People will take measures into their own hands to feel safe.